Two students who simply seek an education, they have a right to be here, protected by that court order. The orders of those courts will be enforced. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. Thus, the anti-abortion laws of 46 states were rendered unconstitutional. The Supreme Court has affirmed same-sex marriage is the law of the land. It is a constitutional right for gays and lesbian couples to marry in every state in this country. the federal bench. You realize that it's not just the Supreme Court that makes the law of the land, there's all these other courts, and it's really important the judges that uh, every president has the ability to get through confirmation. For a federal court, this reverses a judge's or delayed free execution. Court ruled differently. Did not have grounds to sue. Dispute. Today, the court ruled that the state of Oklahoma The Constitution works on a checks and balances system. Why the left is triggered by Trump is because they understand they're in a Kafkaesque nightmare. And working together, we're changing the federal courts forever. Nobody's done more to change the court system in the history of our country than Donald Trump. That Donald Trump is going to be in their personal lives 10, 20, in 30 years from now. And Mr. President, we're going to keep on doing it. My motto is leave no vacancy behind. This law review article is named Stephen Menashe. Donald Trump just nominated him to sit on the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the federal appeals court that covers New York State. There's a lot of red flags in this man's record. Um, I'm concerned about a litany of offensive articles and comments he made while in college. It's published in the University of Pennsylvania about how definitely democracy can't work unless the country is defined by a unifying race. Yes, he's talking about everybody having the same ethnicity. More importantly and more recently, I'm concerned he doesn't have the temperament or judgment to sit. Mr. Kaczmarek is another example of an extreme choice by President Trump to jam courts with individuals who have put their political views above the law He went so far as to say that experiences of transgender people are, quote, irrational and, quote, delusional. That transgender people are suffering from a, quote, psychological condition in need of care, not in a category of person in need of special legal protection. Kazmierich has also repeatedly made public his opposition to marriage equality and the equal treatment of same-sex couples. She wrote that if a woman drinks to the point where she can no longer choose uh, to choose, well, getting to that point was part of her choice. You said, quote, women should take certain steps to avoid becoming a victim. What steps do you have in mind that women should take to avoid becoming a victim of sexual assault? It's, it's just sort of a common sense idea about, um, for instance, excessive drinking. In both her word and her work, in her writings, she has blamed survivors of sexual assault. She wrote, a good way to avoid a potential date rape. Let's be clear, it is never a survivor's fault ever that someone raped or sexually assaulted them. Despite very legitimate concerns about her position on sexual assault, the vote in the end was 53 to 46.
John Bush has a clear record of promoting bigotry and promoting discrimination. It has no place in our courts. We can't let this nomination slide through this body. John Bush is one of those radical right-wing conservatives. He has demonstrated a level of disrespect for other people that flatly disqualifies him for a lifetime appointment to the federal bench. Judge Brasher's work on these and other cases led to the National Urban League to write that his, quote, alarming anti-civil rights record provides no assurance that people of color would receive justice in his court. If racial elements consistently vote in separate blocks, uh, decreasing the proportion of black voters will generally reduce the chance that the minority group's favored candidate will be elected. The evidence that I have before me suggests that it is the intention of the people behind his nomination that he not give fair trials. The fate of the health care law, often referred to as Obamacare, will be on the line again as the COVID pandemic plays out. More than 23 million Americans get coverage through the ACA. Judge Walker, in an article you wrote in 2018, you said the Supreme Court's decision upholding the Affordable Care Act is indefensible, the taxing clause rationale weak, and its acceptance catastrophic. We're here to rally today to stop Trump judges, Justin Walker, and it's even more outrageous that Senator McConnell is fast-tracking these anti-healthcare, anti-civil rights judges as we face in our midst a national pandemic. In Brett Kavanaugh's America, we will not surrender while you wage war on our work or our cause or our hope or our dream. There is no position, I think, that is more important than those who are appointed to serve on the federal courts. It's a lifetime appointment. You cannot be uh, removed from that office, and you have power, incredible power. Regardless of the president's political future, the legal legacy will last for decades. With McGahn, it was always one thing. 